All right, this is the tutorial for the return to impact site. Um, in a normal six day run, this should be on day four. Uh, although if you're starting out, you probably took two days for Force of Hope and two days for Force Enable. So you'll probably be here on day six. Um, note, this is before Distant Spring. You want to do this before Distant Spring because you need 90 blues for that. Um, but uh, as far as the day goes, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're here before day eight, that's when the Mamuta uh, spawns, uh, you should be fine. Um, but that shouldn't really ever happen unless something like really catastrophic happened. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty easy day. Uh, we just collect one ship part and grow 50 blues and then flower them. Um, but it is surprisingly easy, I guess, to lose time um, that you don't necessarily notice um, just from slow movement. So I'd, I would recommend practicing this a little, a little bit before you do um, some serious runs. Uh, getting into it, uh, the first thing I want to do is just withdraw 40 blues and 10 yellows. Uh, we don't want any more than that because we need room for the 50 blues later on the field. Um, so, uh, yeah, don't don't withdraw any more than 10 yellows. Activating this uh, beetle here also is, is pretty unavoidable. Uh, you may think if you like go around the edge here, you can, but it, it's activation error. Uh, I guess hitbox is actually fairly large, so it's not really worth it trying to avoid it. Um, so first off, just grab a yellow, throw five yellows onto the bombs here. There's six bombs, but we only need five. Um, the only thing you want to avoid doing is you don't want to throw the yellows too far this way, uh, or else they'll activate the second beetle, and that can get in your way. Um, sometimes that, uh, that's unavoidable if the bombs spawn kind of over here, but just try, try to throw them... Um, I guess closer to this side, um, but just make sure your cursor isn't on the top of the box here. Uh, if it's kind of on the edge on the top of the box, then when the, the yellows land, sometimes they skip off of it and like land over here and activate the second beetle. Uh, so just make sure it's right in the middle here on the bombs. And then once you see your blues, for the most part, uh, get around the corner here, then you can uh, start C-sticking to the right to get up the ramp here. It's fine if not all blues come with you. Um, you only need like probably 35 plus is fine. Um, so if somebody gets stuck in the corner, that's okay, especially if they're leaves, you don't really want to deal with them. And then also it's fine to leave the bombs down here, because um, you can just swap them up with the uh, color swap here. Um, so yeah, we want to throw three bombs on here, so just do the mechanic where you like, hold A and then press R on the yellows to swap to bombs. Do that three times here. And then the throw on this isn't really uh, precise, just anywhere here is fine, it'll move to the correct place. And then once this bomb stops moving and it starts getting ready to throw, then you can throw the next one. And remember, after the second bomb uh, gets thrown, uh, both it will rejoin your party and the other yellow here uh, will rejoin your party. So you do need to dismiss here and then re-whistle your blues. Um, always throw six blues on here because this will actually limit you later uh, if you don't have six on it. Um, so yeah, throw six and then keep it off camera. Just it's a little more consistent that way to get all six blues to grab it. So you don't need to like keep it on camera and babysit it to make sure all six grab. So just yeah, throw six and then move over here. All right, so now the clamp clamp. This is really the only thing that can go wrong um, in this day. Uh, you want to be able to one cycle it. It's honestly fine if you two cycle it, but it's not really that hard to one cycle it um, if you know how to do it. So just keep your cursor on the right side here, just kind of so the, I guess the tongue and the white part um, are just kind of equally uh, separated in, uh, or I guess the, the cursor is just right on the middle of the tongue and the white part here. Um, I like to hold the uh, controller kind of in my lap on my leg to stabilize it and you just want to mash a as fast as possible you don't really even need to see stick uh, around at all to uh, get the pikmin near you just mash a with the controller in your lap until you have maybe like two or three pikmin left in your party uh, and then at that point you can uh, move up to get ready for the whistle and so the way the health bar works here is it, it can't go too fast. So it's actually dead now. Um, the health bar just hasn't caught up with it yet. Um, but when it gets to about a quarter health left on the health bar, that's when you can whistle off um, and, and the health will catch up. And you make sure want uh, you want to make sure to do a full whistle here onto the uh, Pikmin. If you only do like a little half whistle, just like a tiny little blip on it, um, then a lot of the times some of the Pikmin will kind of, they will rejoin your party, but they'll, it's some this weird thing where they like take a sec where they, uh, just sit there for a while before uh, walking over to you and they'll end up getting eaten. So make sure to do a full whistle here and then just C-stick to the right. Um, and also we want to avoid getting the text box on the positron uh, generator if we can. So just uh, keep to the right of it and then dismiss your uh, Pikmin onto it. Just like that. Um, again, keep it off camera. That'll make it more consistent to have all 33 grab. Um, it doesn't matter exactly what the number is on there, um, but you just actually you don't want too many though. So you, you, you don't want to like, throw the yellows on it because um, you want to keep it slow uh, for later so you can try to get the cutscene skip on it. 
Uh, the only thing is I, I do that one little zoom out there just to check if anyone didn't grab. Um, if they didn't grab, I don't try to load them on it. I'll just whistle them and then bring them with me over here. And any blues you didn't whistle before should be in this corner, so you can just do a quick whistle here to grab them. Um, yeah, so throw one yellow each on each of these pellet posies. Uh, you can use these if you lost blues at the clamp clamp here, or maybe you had a couple left behind uh, in Forest Naval. Um, so uh, if you really need a lot of blues, you can try to get them to be blue um, when they get knocked down, but you shouldn't really need that many, honestly. And then as soon as that happens, just withdraw 50 reds here. Um, this is so that there's 100 Pikmin on the field when these blues get grown, so they don't uh, sprout out of the onion, so you don't have to pluck them. Uh, and also right here, um, if you did need extra blues and you don't need blues in your party, uh, just whistle off from the uh, pearl, throw four blues on there, and then throw two like uh, yellows uh, just to get it moving to the blue onion. And then with those extra two blues you now have in your party, you can get these one pellets in. And so when this gets sucked up, the... Uh, uh, what it's called the onion will kind of like get launched in the air and do three bounces or ah, yeah a couple bounces that get progressively smaller after the third bounce you can open the red onion and, and put the reds back in and the blue should finish growing just before the reds start entering and keep an eye on this number here this is the on the field number so that once this hits 50 then you can open the blue onion and uh, withdraw the 50. And then grab a yellow in your hand. Uh, that'll keep the, the yellows in front and the blue flowers behind you so no leaves grab the nectar. Um, and wait for all of the uh, leaves to both come out off of the stick and then just kind of move behind you a little bit. Um, if you just start seasicking towards the grass when some of the uh, leaves are still on the stick, then sometimes the leaves start grabbing the grass and then you don't flower all of them. So I, I would just recommend waiting just a bit for the leaves to get behind the flowers here. And then again, just get a real tight grouping here um, to try to get all of them flowered off of one nectar. Um, this grass patch has 40 blades of nectar, so there's a 96.5% chance that you get at least one uh, drop of nectar. The only thing is, so you saw the positron generator a second ago, is uh, getting close to getting into the ship. So when the uh, nectar here spawns, there's kind of a timer that it will remain active on the ground before the Pikmin can't suck it up anymore. And if one spawns just before a cutscene, uh, some of that time is actually taken up during the cutscene. So you have less time uh, after the cutscene to flower everyone off of it. So you actually probably most of them can't flower everyone after, uh, off of one nectar after a cutscene. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, if you don't get all the nectar you need off of this patch, there's another patch uh, also with 40 blades on the other side of the uh, impact site that I will show you at the end of the video. Um, but once they're all flowered, uh, move over here to try to get the cutscene skip. Um, it's fine to activate the, the text box here. That's it's fast. If, if you're good at cutscene skips, it's faster to get the text box here just so that you can actually get the cutscene skip. Um, but just remember that this is one of the cutscene skips where you have to wait for the part to get sucked into the ship uh, before you can end the day. So if you're not very good at cutscene skips um, and you don't usually get it in like three attempts or less, then it's it's not really that worth it to go for this. And then once this gets sucked up and you can see everyone's flowered here, then you can end the day. Um, I'm just going to show you this is the other nectar patch if you need more nectar here. Uh, this is the other 40 patch. So, yeah. And yeah, that's about it. Um, looking at numbers, um, you should have really all we care about is 90 blues here. Um, you should also have more than at least 10 yellows. You, you should most of the time have like at least 13 probably. Um, but. Um, yeah, you definitely need at least 10 because there's a part that's high up that you need 10 yellows for, but that's about it.